In this episode, I will demonstrate how to run and test small snippets of JavaScript in the browser console. In Chrome, there are two easy ways to pull up the console. The first way is to go to the view menu here, then to developer, JavaScript console. The other way is to right click on any page, click inspect, and then navigate to the console tab. What we have here is called a REPL. That stands for read, eval, print, loop. You can find a REPL in almost any programming language. It is incredibly useful in testing small snippets of JavaScript and to see how the language works. Read means that it'll read any JavaScript that you type in. Eval means it'll try to evaluate that code and then it'll print out the result. So this expression results in undefined. It doesn't return anything. And then loop means it loops back to the read part. So now if we try to evaluate test, it prints out that the result of test is hello. So that just read, evaluated, and printed out. And now we've looped back to the beginning. You can also use the console here to explore what functionality is available to us here in the browser. Window is the name of the global object that has a lot of functionality tied to it. So window.alert, window.blur. Let's try window.alert. Looks like that's tied to some native browser code. So window.alert. Hello. And that fires a pop-up with the text of hello. Great. Now it's important to note that window, because it's the global object, it is assumed, which means you don't have to call window dot as a prefix for all of this functionality. You can just call alert. And that worked. Great. We can also try more complicated things. Like what if you have a bug in a function of yours, but you're not really sure how to debug it? Here we've defined a what color function where you can pass in a color parameter that will return a string. My color is plus the parameter that you've entered. So what color? Green. Because this is a REPL, it'll automatically show you the response. My color is green. And we don't have a space here, so why don't we add a space? We can redefine it. My color is green. If you have some simple functions, some simple code, this can be an easy way to quickly step through it and to see what the problems are, to see what the output is, and to fix your problems. You can even use the REPL to try more complicated functionality. One of the APIs that people often struggle with is the Fetch API. So say we want to make an Ajax call to Google using the Fetch API. We call Fetch, and I've already done this before, so here. Here we get a cores error. So maybe you have this running in your code and you're like, why is this breaking? You can pull this up out here and just isolate this one piece and you can see that there's a cores error which is causing this to fail. So let's go to google.com. Try and run that from here. Okay, that returns a promise, which we see is fulfilled. Now if we wanna process that, the easiest way is to await that promise. So we'll use the await keyword here. So now we get the proper response. We get the body, which we can process. Fantastic. The console in the browser can be incredibly useful for testing out small JavaScript snippets. It can be useful for pulling out isolated pieces of your code. When you're not quite sure what is failing, you can pull out the whole function, or you can pull out something like just this fetch piece. And you can say, why is this not working? Let me test this piece in isolation. And that really makes things a lot easier. I use the console almost every single day. That's it.